You heard me right. <laughs> Any crash in that intersection, we're going to have a 15-minute beer special at the at the beer stands located right underneath these grandstands. So we're not going to technically cheer on major crashes, but I think we all know that if there is one, after the end of this we, we just race, want We just want them to make it close. Yeah. That's all. Three dollar beers on tap after so, this so, yeah. great race. So if, 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 if they crash, so no it, exceptions. So that, that is, again, that will be after this race. Tommy, let's go through the starting lineup. Let's do this. Starting up front. Well, he was slated to start up front, but then he got himself a little crash. So starting up front in this one will be the number 27 driver, uh, Joseph Barreter. And to his outside is the Jack in a Box ride of the 23 of Robert Amato. Yep, and then uh, all sorts, like you said, it's going to be a, a kind of a wild uh, starting lineup here because a lot of cars got jacked up in the last Enduro, but we know the 04 machine Val Cummings, the 25 of Bellings, the 3 machine of Cheryl Highland, Tommy. Then to the outside of the 37 of James Bellinas. His number fell off. It did, yes. It was a, it was a hard endurance race. And we'll, uh, we'll get you, uh, we got uh, Salcedo, Robert Rice, and the number seven machine. Folks, are you ready for a figure eight race here at Night of Destruction? 20 laps. So we're going to call it off because of 23. He, he was really ready. He was really, I mean, that was... What? I wish we had like the Jack in the Box theme or something. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, is that what's going on? Well, he must, maybe, he he must, must have thought that beer special was a taco special. Uh, uh, <laughs> he just wanted us to get through the rest of the starting lineup. The 64 machine there, Dewey Jones. 98 machine, Troy Anderson. 81 machine, Eddie Howell. 95 of Joe Labrosiano. We got the number 73 and the 02 Cummings and 73 rounding out the field. Yeah, and the 50 machine of Robert Rice Jr. back there. So that's everyone who's in the field, not necessarily in that order, but these drivers getting ready to go. You'll see the fast ones probably make their way to the front, but remember there is no point in this race where you are safe. If you get out of one crowd, they're going to be coming right at you from the other side. It's a timing game. We go green. Anything goes through that crossover, and if they do make contact, we will have ourselves a beer run to the souvenirs. And trouble! Oh. The 16 machine of Salcedo. Now, Salcedo, we remember in the endurance race, he blew up an engine. I believe that's a car, a second car, maybe a skipping car that he was planning to race, but now has to run in the figure eights. Well, Tommy, our early leader, the number 27 machine of Joseph Barreter, it is close here, coming right at you. Turn number four. That Toyota Camry, Toyota Camry, he's got that thing running up front. You used to run one of those. I had a Toyota Camry and then I crashed it. Not my street vehicle, no. You crashed that too. I into a few parked cars. Figure eight. We are just inching closer to that beer special right now. Oh yeah, I think the drivers might crash just for that beer special. <laughs> Isn't that cheating? Oh!
think Salcedo just threw the white flag and got off track as fast as he possibly could. He exited. All right, Jeffrey, it's a timing game. Where are you going to go for your leader? Slipping through on the brakes. I feel like you're right, Jeffrey. We are inching close into that beer special. Well, we have our fastest three cars. None of them are going to want to slow it down. Oh, boy. It's all about anticipating what the other competition is going to do. You're coming right at them. Molinas right now doesn't want to slow down. He's going to slip right through. Right through the middle and second and third, having to do the same. The top three all racing up front for the lead, and they have to fight through the slower cars in the intersection. Four, crossover. Everybody played nicely in that one. And down. Twelve to go. And it is still a tight race up front. We're going to start getting what's going to happen. Oh! Oh, my goodness. I thought three bucks were guaranteed. I had it out of my pocket and ready to head down. You see, Jeffrey, the 37 of Lena's, he is your leader, and he is smoking. So how long did that 37 Honda, Honda have he left? He had mechanical issues during the Enduro, Tommy, so that's something that that car might be suffering from. And like you said, how much longer is it going to last? It's going to get pretty wild here. Oh, the 27, he's on the... <laughs> Dyson and Dyson. There's there's a hesitation moment, and you have to be careful when you do it, because if you jump on the brakes and someone's coming up from behind you, engine, they will rear end you quick. Lap traffic for your leaders, that's in front of them. So this is a little bit more manageable in that intersection. Battle for the second spot. Howell to the driver's left of that number seven, Robert Rice. Side by side for the second spot. Closing in on your leader. He's got French track, clean air in front of that 37. But he does not have any safety cushion between second and third place. They are right on that rear bumper with lap traffic and intersections to deal with, Tommy. This race is far from over. Nine laps to go, and it is almost, almost. man. That was some incredible avoidance. Here comes the battle for the lead and the continued intersection. intersection. Heading down now. <laughs> Getting in 
from the start. Yeah, I really thought second and third might have something to say about this one, but these top three have been very tight. One last intersection there for our line. And we'll probably get one more right here. Checkered flag is out for the 37 machine, James Bolinas. James Powell will go to the orange and black number seven, Robert Rice third, Howell. That is your top three. All right, so folks, 15 minutes. For 15 minutes, there are $3 beers available. Courtesy of these crazy figure eight drivers. $3 beers on tap. Look at them running, too. Don't, don't run. You can walk. That's, that's the next race you that's going on right now. got 15 minutes. Look at that. I mean, we got a race to the concession stand so far. Three bucks. I, I'm sorry, but that I think that kid might not be 21. He's just excited. He just wants to race. <laughs> B double E double R U N beer run. <laughs> Figure eights and three dollar beer. What? That's the perfect way to title a night of destruction. <laughs> there you go, folks. Are did you enjoy that figure eight race? Sounds like they did. I did. How about that? James Bolin is climbing out of his car. He is your winner. And we're sending it down for the winning interview. Hey, how about that? I think I saw a wreck in the intersection, don't you think? I saw that one, Tim. That means $3 beers for 15 minutes. Job, man, that was amazing, huh? How about that figure eight daredevil race in there, James? That was a pretty good hot rod you had there tonight. Yeah, I blew my other car up in the oval race. I had to go to the back of the car for my figure eight, so a lot of fun, good competition. These are two buddies we grew up with. Having you guys out here is a blast. Hey, Irwindale, tell me, when they were going through this intersection, I'm telling you, I was on pins and needles. A couple of times, it was inches away from mere mayhem. Tell us who you want to thank. Uh, pick your part for helping us out, getting these cars together, Robert Rice, Dick, 